let's have a look at the new Epsilon 1 system. The overall system design of the Epsilon 1 is as a non-contact excitensometer that's designed to interact like a mechanical excitensometer. The primary connection of the Epsilon 1 to your test frame is through a high speed plus and minus 10 volt analog output channel. Epsilon 1 can connect to any test frame manufacturer, regardless of the PC and control design. The optical calibration of Epsilon 1 has already been performed at the factory. No grids and bars are necessary during the installation process. Simply set the appropriate working distance using the alignment feature onto your specimen. The system is now calibrated and ready to test. All measurements are made in real time, end to end, just like a mechanical exit solid. There's no post-processing necessary with the system, and the speeds are suitable for high-performance fatigue applications and strain control applications. Typical data rates exceed 2 kilohertz. For the best performance in low strain and small gauge length applications, a precision telecentric optic will typically be recommended. For elastomers, long gauge length applications, um, rebar, wire, metal foil, that type of thing, a larger field uh, of a conventional optic might be recommended. The Epsilon 1 design is a high performance uniaxial extensometer system. We're going to measure length, strain, and elongation between two marks made horizontally on the specimen. The system design allows for continuous high-speed real-time performance. So the data rate indicated, in this case 2.1 kilohertz, is always indicative of the end-to-end real-time uh, system performance, including analog or digital output. Post-processing is never necessary with the Epsilon 1 system um, because the measurements are always made in real time. The hardware package for the Epsilon 1 system includes our optics package, optics and light included, which attaches to a base rail system with which we set the working distance. The included mounting system allows us to additionally rotate the optics out of the way. Here we have our MS-01 mounting system, suitable for any T-slot frame. Additional mounts are available for several hydraulic round column frames, uh, base mounts, and other systems. The optics package of the Epsilon-1 are connected to the sensor controller, which can be mounted on the back of the test frame, on the table, or in another convenient location. Our sensor controller does all the heavy lifting so that you will achieve the same high-speed real-time performance with this system regardless of the characteristics or performance of your PC. Additionally, the sensor controller is connected both to the test frame through analog and to our PC, in this case, uh, via a digital communication stream, which we're using for our GUI. The Epsilon One's lightweight GUI takes up little space on the desktop and it is not typically necessary to interact with it in between tests. Just wave the hand to begin the next test, the system's already operating. It is not necessary to select features in, in the image uh, between tests in a typical application. The GUI software can operate on the same PC that your test frame is using and does not require an additional monitor and computer. The Epsilon 1 GUI includes two configurable digital readouts, which can be set to indicate any of the primary metrics, length, elongation, strain, or resolution. Select your unit of choice, and right-click on any item to display help. Or to configure a test, we'll go to administrator mode where we can configure the analog output range, data rate, filter settings, and other test parameters. When you're done with your settings, save that recipe locally and return to the test mode. Using the optional touch interface, the Epsilon 1 can be operated without any software at all, just like any mechanical XM software. The touch interface provides a complete interface and control package from display of parameters such as length, gauge length, and strain, 
beginning a new test, or configuring any of the available parameters for the system. We can use our laser alignment system to set or check the working distance and alignment of the specimen. That looks just right. Laser lines are right on top of each other, forming one line, vertical and centered on the specimen. With the mechanical etched in solder, you would need to remove the zero pin this time. With the epsilon one, I'm going to reset the gauge length with the wave of my hand. The optics have measured the marked gauge length on the specimen, and they're now going to communicate the strain to uh, my test frame over analog.